In this video, we want to focus on how we can find the derivative or differentiative function using uh, the definition of the derivative or the first principle. So the question that we have is f of x is equal to the square root of x plus 3. We have to differentiate this one uh, using the first principle. So if we get a function uh, f of x is equal to square root of x plus 3, I can differentiate uh, this one using the general form. So since we have the square root, I can change the square root into index form. Now here, there is a 2 and here it's to the power 1. So this would be x plus uh, 3 to the power 1 over 2. Okay? Square root means the power is 1 over 2. Now, if I have to differentiate this one, I will differentiate this whole function, then I will differentiate the function inside. It is the process that we call chain rule. Okay? So if we are differentiating using uh, the general uh, form, we are going to multiply the power with the coefficient here. So the coefficient here is 1. So 1 multiplied by 1 over 2, we are going to have 1 over 2, then x uh, plus 3. Then the power has to reduce by 1. So this will be 1 over 2 uh, minus a 1. So this will be, again, we have to differentiate what is inside here. But when you differentiate x, you get 1. So it will be multiplied by 1. Okay, we are, we've used chain rule. Now, this will be 1 over 2. Then this will be x uh, plus 3. To the power, this we get negative 1 over 2. So I can use the negative index here. I can take it to the reciprocal. Or I can take this one down here. So what we are going to have is 1 over 2. Then down here we are going to have x 1 over 2. When I bring this thing down here, it is going to be positive. Again, this can be changed uh, to this format. So this is going to be 1 over 2. This can be changed to this. Remember, uh, to the power 1 over 2 means square root. So we are going to have square root of x uh, plus 3. So this is when we use the general form, but this is not what we are supposed to use in this question. But at the end of the day, we should come to this answer. So we are going to use the first principle or the definition of the derivative or using the concept of limits. So now, uh, f of x prime, meaning the derivative of the function is equal to limit when h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x then divide by h. So we are saying in the function whatever is x we put x plus h then minus the actual function then divide by h. But we look for the limit when h goes to 0. So this will be equal to limit when h approaches 0. So whenever there is x, I'll put x plus h. That's the minimum of f of x plus h. So this would be square root of x plus h plus 3 minus the actual function, which is the same one, x plus 3. Then divide by h. You're going to look at what you have here on the numerator. So you look at the, the conjugate of this one. So the conjugate is what, what you're going to multiply this side and this side here. So the conjugate of this one will be, so I'm going to multiply this one with the conjugate on top and down the conjugate of the numerator, which will be this one here, I'll put a plus. You just swap the sign. If it is negative, the conjugate will have a plus. 
So we have plus h uh, plus 3 and plus k plus you can put this one plus k plus 3. But this same thing I have to multiply it even down here. So it will be x plus h uh, plus 3 and here plus square root over x plus 3. If you want you can put them in brackets. Now here when you look on top here this is the factorization of difference of two squares. We can open the bracket and all that but when we look at this and multiplying with this it is the same as this squared minus this squared. So we are going to have this one. This is going to be limit when h goes to 0. So this will be x plus h plus 3 minus x plus 3. Now remember this will be like the factorization this one and that one when we, when we multiply we can see that we factorized a difference of two squares so we are going to square this one and square that one then down here we are going to divide we are going to multiply this and that so this will be h multiplied by square root of x plus h plus 3 then this thing uh, plus square root of x plus 3 and you can put this in brackets so now uh, square root and the square square root and the square these are going to simplify so here this will simplify I've simplified this what I'm having is x okay this will be this will be this will be equal to limit when h goes to 0 of x plus h plus 3 minus x plus 3 all over h when we have square root of x plus h plus 3 this thing plus square root of x plus 3. You can see here we have x minus minus x. These are going to simplify. Here we have plus 3, plus 3 minus and plus 3. These are going to simplify. But here you don't need to, to open the brackets here. You don't need to expand. This is going to be a little bit expensive for you to manipulate. So you leave it the way it is. We leave the denominator the way they are here. So this will be limit when h goes to 0. Okay, here we are going to remain with h divided by h. This will be plus 3 and plus x plus 3. Okay. Now, at this point, I can simplify h. You see this h and this h will simplify. I'm going to have one there. So now, this will be limit when h goes to 0 of 1 over x plus h plus 3. This thing plus square root of x plus 3 okay now we are saying after we simplify at this point now we can depress whatever this h will put 0 because we are saying what is the value when, of this particular function when, when h becomes 0 so whenever there is h I'll put 0 so I'm going to put 0 there I will remain with x uh, plus 3 so this will be equal to we are going to have 1 over x plus 0 plus 3 
this thing class square root of x plus 3 this will be 1 over x plus 3 plus x plus 3 so when we try to do this this and that can simplify we can add these two things so we're going to have 1 over 2 because there are two of these we are adding them so we are going to have two of those so now this will be the gradient function or the derivative using the first principle and this is how you solve when you have something containing the square root there will be a point where you have to multiply with the conjugate of what would be the numerator so for this and more videos subscribe to my youtube channel and thank you for watching